praise our God. Hello. Yeah, we are here always to praise Master Jesus. Absolutely. My wife had a dream, and uh, we want to share this dream uh, so that the Spirit of God will direct us and move through us. Amen. So I'm trying to remember when I had this dream. Um, I always like to say when I had this dream. So I had this dream maybe, was it like three months ago? Man, yeah. time go by fast. Maybe. But um, I remember this dream because I knew I was going to put it on YouTube because it need to be, it need to be told okay um so in the dream i was sitting in church and it was a full church i mean every seat was filled um pastor a pastor uh, was preaching he was a pastor of the church he was preaching the word of god and um and um you know how how uh um, pastors at the end of their preaching, sometimes they have the um, organ player play, you know. So the organ, I remember um, that my eye connected with the the guy who was playing um, the organ. And, uh, you know, he was just playing, you know, he just enjoying and the pastor was up there preaching. And then, and then as I looked to my right, um, I seen uh, two uh, young men, two young men, and they were, uh, I don't know how to say the word, flamboyant. I always say flamboyant, and I know, but like, what does that mean? But you could tell that they lived a life of homosexuality, you know? It was very noticeable by their appearance and what they had on as well. And... Um, I now, then I remember the organ player sat behind these guys. Um, so the two guys were in front of them. The guy that played in the organ was sitting behind them. So the preacher, I remember he was just preaching, had his mic and everything. And then he stopped in the middle of his preaching. And then he told, he uh, pointed out the two guys that were um, living the life of homosexuality he pointed those two guys out and he um told them he you know kind of you know kind of gave him a word it's not a good life to live in um that this life is a sinful life it's not good to live this way because it's not of god right so the guy that was sitting behind them which was the organ player he stood up in front of everyone and he said, I invited them to come to the church. So the pastor was like, oh, okay. In my opinion, all people need to come to church, period. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I'm just letting you know the dream. So mm -hmm. he stood up, the organ um, guy stood up and he said, I invited, these are my two friends. And I also live um, as, I, I live as a gay man. And the pastor was shocked, you know, because he had no idea that the organ player was living that life. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's how the dream ended. So you got anything to say on that? Yeah. Uh, before I say this, uh, I remember in the Bible when there was a time Peter has no power uh, when he was just a fisherman. But when Jesus Christ came in his life, a lot of things changed. Also, when Jesus came in the life of the, the prostitute, a lot of things changed. If this is the dream, the dream is telling us this. If you are called to preach the word of God, if you are a man of God, mm -hmm. and you believe that the Christ is now living in you, when somebody out of order, a gay person or a lesbian or a, a, a Buddha or whosoever that comes in your, your, your church. Since you have the Christ in you, that Christ in you will go out and do miracle in them and do deliverance, deliverance. upon them. Right. You know, right. the, this is the area that we need discernment. Mm 
Yeah, we really need it in church. You know, this we need discernment. The, yeah, this is the area Especially that we leaders. need discernment. Yeah. You know, if Peter can be an apost disciple of Jesus Christ, there was a time the mother-in-law was very sick. Peter could not do nothing. But Jesus came and healed the, 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 the mother-in-law, and she, was, she started serving uh, the visitors. And at the time, Peter was a, Peter can just pass by and the shadow will be healing people. So you see that there is right. a different things. So when you are being chosen by Jesus Christ, this the, I'm, just, I'm trying to give the interpretation of this dream. When you are being called and being satisfied with Holy Ghost to preach the word of God, Jesus sent them two by two and said, deliver heal and do all the signs and wonders so when they come back and rejoice in but god jesus said do not rejoice for this you know so we need that discernment yeah we need that discernment to design that this person need a deliverance and obadiah obadiah 17 says upon my mountain zion there shall be holiness and there shall be deliverance, and people of God will possess their possession. So when we have that discernment as a preacher of the word of God in our church, we know when these people step in that they are not going home the same. Right. When they step in to worship or to be in a, 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 a choir leader or anything, Any leader. Yeah. the spirit of God that is moving will go and hit and, and, and you know take responsibility mm -hmm. In order to transform them, right. you know, so that there will not be influence other people. They so will, they would not influence other people. Influ then they will not pollute the church. They will, you know, good word. Polluting the church Ugh. is another thing <laughs> that people That's a good we word. are lacking. Yeah. When you welcome the spirit, they pollute the church. Right. The church will start leaking. Yes, the, you are allowing the enemy to come in. You yeah. you are saying, you know, we always say welcome Holy Spirit, but yeah. you'll welcome the enemy to come in. You know, and Satan always come to steal, kill, kill, and, and to destroy. destroy. You know, so mm -hmm. <clears throat> we need discernment as Christians, as a preachers, uh, 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 you know, as an apostle, as prophet. We need discernment in every areas right. of every our ministration. Area. Amen. So let's remember that leaders, pastors, leaders of the church, um, if we are playing music or we praying for people, we need to have power. We need to have power and we need to um, be very, very protective of who our leaders are. I, I, I know and believe that it's very good to um, be very protective in that area yeah. because we don't want uh, like you said, the pollution to come in. We don't want Satan to attack. We should know as leaders when there is a witch. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. We should know. That's that the witches spirit come of, in for what? You know, that's the spirit of design. Yeah. When, what do witches come in to do in churches? People, people think a witch is this, you know, this big, huge hat. They wear black all the time mm -hmm. with this huge makeup on. Yeah, it's no more, it's no more of their appearance. They know they the Bible more than you. Yeah, they can have their Bibles, crosses over, all yeah, over them, yeah. but they still do They come in to destroy. You know? Yeah, you know, Jezebel, you know. Yeah, so, you know, we, we just want to encourage ourselves, you know, to go more deep in prayers, to go, you know, asking God for empowerment, for discernment, to know right and wrong we we think that we know right and wrong but we don't when you cannot design the spirit that comes into your church you don't know now right you know but when we are filled with holy ghost when we are filled with the power of god that's when you can see somebody and the spirit of god will tell you to minister unto the saints because that person at that moment, need a word of encouragement or a word of love. Right. He want you to do this. He want you to deliver the this, sins. This he want you to be a leader. Amen. Like Paul. Right. And, you know, I, I, I got a scripture here, and I love this scripture. 
because it kind of reminded me, or I can uh, say something about when I, as I read the scripture, I want to say something. Um, John seven twenty four. do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. I'm going to repeat that. John seven twenty four. do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. And it kind of reminded me in the dream how the pastor knew um, that they lived that life because of their appearance, yeah. you know? But he did not know that the organ player lived that life because he probably, you know, he looked at normal. He looked like a normal guy. So let's not judge by appearances. We need to judge by the right judgment. Yeah. And also, as I say this, the pastor, he had no idea, right? But what gets me is that pastors are inviting homosexuality to come sing on their stage. Yeah. All right. You know um, that this person is in sin, but you're uh, inviting them to sing. And you know these people are false, but you are inviting them to sing and preach in your church. Like, I can have a little bit of compassion for him a little bit more yeah. than a pastor um, or a leader is inviting sin to come preach or you're inviting sin to come sing in your church. So, you know, let's yeah. just have discernment and let's um, also, let's also uh, abide by the word of God because the Bible says that God is the same today. And he will never change. He's the same today. And he's going to be the same forevermore. He's He's not going to change his mind about his uh, uh, his commandments. He's not going to change his mind about these things. So um, I don't care what year it is. I don't care if it's the year 2016. All things have changed. Mm -hmm. No, but God hasn't changed. Yeah. So we need to stick with that. Um, we need to stick with the word of God. Mm -hmm. If he was against it 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. he's going to be against it today. Tomorrow. So, yeah, mm -hmm. or tomorrow. Yeah, so, let's read this scripture. Okay. First uh, John 4 and 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. First John four and one. Remember that. That's it, good one. Yeah, amen. So we encourage everybody. We encourage us, you know, to be strong in uh, in the Lord. And uh, the Bible said, "This these things cannot go except by praying yeah. and fasting." You know, it requires more prayers. It requires more fasting. Jesus fasted all through. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights before carrying his ministry. So we all can do it. Amen. You know, we all can do it. And, uh, so we can be able to design the spirit. So we can be able to deliver the spirit. So we can be able to set free, you right. know, the, the, the prisoners, the, the bondages with our prayers. Yeah. You know, I remember when the, the Israelites, when they cried, because they were in bondage, they cried and prayed, and then they were delivered. Right. So we need and I to want to say this too. Um, it's not this video is not about homosexuality. I just want no. to say that no. that is an example. Yeah. That dream is an example because it's plenty of people who have the spirit of lust. Uh, plenty, plenty of spirit people of who have lying. the spirit of lying, mm, the know, spirit of deceiving. You know. The spirit of the seducing. Stealing, coming to the church to right. sit, steal people's uh, uh, offering <laughs> and seed and tithe. Yes. Yeah, yes. Know. So I don't want to focus just on that. You know, it's if you know um, that someone is in sand and they're part of your leadership, it's it's time to uh, listen. I just like we shouldn't kick nobody out of church. Yeah. We sh we should as a leader, hey. We need to go into prayer. Yeah. Let's get this together. Yeah. If you know that the leader of the church is cheating on his wife with many people in the church, yeah. then not to kick them out, but to, hey, we need to sit you down just for a second. We need to get your mind straight. We need to counsel you. Um, whatever God leads, you know, 
Um, but, you know, we as a pastor, especially the pastor of the church, we need some, we need discernment really, really, you know, discernment, really bad. Really bad. What will it, will yeah. it do? You know, so that our church will not be polluted. Amen. So that our church will be planted in a good ground. ground. Praise the Lord. Thank you. So we encourage you to keep watching and keep believing. Amen. Thank you.